All right, guys, welcome back to another week of TGC Tours. We're going to jump in now and play the Georgia Championship on the Platinum Tour. Apologies for the lack of videos in the last week. Uh, I was a little bit under the weather, as was my uh, young son, so I decided not to record, take a week away just to try and recuperate. It, was not, it wasn't too bad, just a little bit under the weather, as I said, but we're back now. I think we're just going to do one round here because I'm a little bit stuck for time, so... There's no point in trying to rush it. I think we'll do round one here and then maybe in another video do rounds two and three and then do a final video for the fourth round. So it's the Georgia Championship at Burnt Pine, I think it was called there. But yeah, thanks for the support on the videos. As I said, apologies for the lack of them in the last week, but we're back now. I just actually recorded part two of Call of Duty Vanguard, so check that out. That'll probably be up on the channel before this video that you're watching now. So. Go over and check that out. I've enjoyed it so far. Well, let's get into this one. As I said, leave a like. It would be greatly appreciated. And subscribe as well if you're not already. We missed the cut last week in our return to Platinum, but I don't think we picked up any demotion points because I think we only missed it by a stroke, I think is all we missed it by. So and The greens. I have seen, I actually did watch Apex Hound's video of his opening two rounds and I have to say some of the greens on this course are ridiculous so it's not going to be easy hopefully that gets a big kick forward not quite it's Ball not bad though next time. okay third shot just didn't have enough to get there nice tempo on that chip just nice and easy well done but it's a par to start, right, so well done. as always, I haven't looked at any leaderboards online. We've only the one par five, as you can see there, the ninth hole on the front nine. So going in blind is always not sure to score. It's probably the best way to do it, but we'll try and have a good opening round here and yeah, to kick start the week. Wind's picking up out there. We got a headwind on this hole. At the parish on 98%. Hopefully it's good. It might still be a little bit long, is it? Oh, this looks really good, actually. Get in the hole for an ace. Get in. Oh, my God. It lips out. Yep. Jesus. And that work. shows you the difficulty of the greens. That just kept going and going. And for a split second, I thought it was going to go in the hole. Deserved it. A hole in one. That's going. But we've made a birdie at the second hole, and we'll take that. It wasn't an easy hole, but we're under par. Currently Wouldn't have been that. Would have been nice, wouldn't it? Par. Get a hole on one. We'll take the birdie. We'll settle for birdie. Nine under through twelve leads. And you're teeing up on a par four for this one. Perfect drive there. Really nice. Yeah, that'll work. And second shot oh, here once on the again. Third. You'd be better off trying to use the slopes rather than fight them. I always say that. That's a big fast. Wow. Come on, ball. Have Won't be using the slope doing that anyway. Well, you can't hit them all. It's a chance missed. This is our third shot. It's gone too far, actually. Left myself a tester now. Okay, we can save like, I can understand why they have to make things like the greens tough because it's on pro, but there's uh, there's times where it just sort of borders on a little bit ridiculous, to be honest. I'd rather see it be on master swing difficulty and than have to deal with this. <sighs> Look at that, like, Jesus. All right, you can sink this and uh, salvage a bogey on this one. All right, Down she I think goes. that's our first bogey in seven rounds because two weeks ago when I won the Elite Tour event, I had no bogey, and even last week when I missed the cut, I had no bogey either, so it's our first bogey in a long, long time. Okay, tailwind blowing with us on this one. But as I said, some of these greens, they're just bordering on being ridiculous, to be honest. Why not just put it back to Masters, swing difficulty, and play normal courses like we used Yikes. to do. I don't quite understand it, but anyway. Here in a fairway bunker. Nothing I can do about it now. It should be pretty good. It should spin. Which it does, and that's a really nice shot. To do here. Nice shot. 
I'm gonna make the birdie good. get back under par. Yep, I need bounce back. a great way to bounce <clears> back, <throat> birdieing this one after Want to try and be at least four start. under turn. And after that one, you're don't want to be down putting ourselves under pressure. I just had no idea what the cut is going to be, but let's see what we can do here on the fifth usually it's hole. quite high. Tough par three here as well. Strike was good. Is it going to be enough though? It's not going to get up towards the pin. We're going to have a difficult putt. So this is a birdie putt at least. Approach there. And this putt is way out there. Best of luck. It's got the pace. Nearly. It's a good effort. Blame the ball. It's a good effort. A good, a good effort, but we're going to stay at one under par. Didn't really we need to find at least three birdies from these next four holes. As I said, four under. That would be the minimum one we one want one. to be turning. You'd have to imagine the cut line is going to be up somewhere around minus 20. Minus 20 after two rounds is very doable. Like, I'd be disappointed not to do that, but the problem is, and I found it particularly on the Platinum Tour, is the greens are just ridiculous on the courses they're using. Good strike there. Wind is just taking a little bit more right than I thought. Pity because the distance was bang on. That'll do nicely. It's not a bad right, putt to have though. This, snatch a birdie and be on our way. Should turn back. Was well, turning was back, but I didn't hit it. Really, that's that a that should have been a birdie. Right, see how these that's a bad out. par right there. Very poor one par one indeed. Where we're lagging, we need to, need to start making some birdies. We need to get on a run. Otherwise, it's probably going to be another miscut. And hopefully, this one's nice and safe. Can't play that right. green, in fairness. That was fairly. That was a pretty straight putt. I just didn't hit it. Cardinal to sin to leave it short. That's a slow. That's not what you want either. Soul breeze to that. I don't even know who that is. What does he want to start a voice chat with me for? Should run out. I used the I used the nine iron, didn't I? And just drop this on in and you'll get a par. Alright, not what we need, pars, but One we need to bury the these two holes. We have to I don't know how many par fives are on the back nine, but I can't imagine there's many. Could potentially be only one par five, either nine, so. That's not what you want. Nice swing. Good drive there. And this one's about 125 yards out. Come on, ball. Kick to the right. Kick. It's not bad, should be a birdie. Really well judged approach there. And it is oh a birdie. Yeah, that's great right. Two under par. Hopefully that's the start of a run of birdies now. And after that hole you'll bring your score down to two under. Two under par. Teeing up now on hole number nine. First of the par fives, and of course it's a long one, probably not reachable. What a slow. Of course, we have missed the fairway. We are going to reach yeah, anyway. Deep stuff here. Three hundred and twenty yards. Back we were definitely not going to reach. Back on our horse. Let's go. But we could have made it easier this than this. Is what our third shot's looking like. It's another really nasty pin. Slope beyond it. We pitched into this slope here as well. We're on the green with Fairness, that one. That's a very well small done. target to get at because you and can see there all the runoff areas. The bird. Not easy at all. Right. If these 
Right it's an effort. Hole. It's gone racing by that. This putt is about 11 feet. Going towards that hole. Fortunately, the first out of par fives, and we've only got a five on it. It's not good. It's a two on the par front nine. Not what you want. And that has kept you at two Not what you want, indeed. Let's see if you can take advantage of this nice par five hole. Great contact. It's a good drive. Take that. And back to back par fives, actually. On coming up. Once again, probably not reachable, but we might be able to sneak it up there with the driver. You must be Good lie in the fairway with as well. The turf. Just didn't aim far enough left. Oh. Or aiming far enough right, right I should up say. And down here to get out of this one with the par. Of course, hitting the flap shot, you get no stop on it either. I like what you did there. Back in the fairway. I don't like what I did. We might not even par this one now. Jesus. Yeah, if you think this, you could save par. Nope. Oh, man. Here's a nine foot putt. It's getting there. It's a bogey. Solid Should have been putting for eagle, and we ended up walking off with a bogey. Okay, one under for the round. Might not need to play the other rounds. Could be out of it early. Drop back to one under par. Okay, we got a bit of a long par four here. Let's see how this tee shot shapes up. Looking good off the tee. This looks like about 120 yards to the pin. Look at this again. The greens are just it's ridiculous. I mean, why not just put it back to master instead of playing on courses like this? If you're worried about the score and just put it back to master. Jesus. No yeah, enjoyment in this, and yeah, that's nicely. for sure. And from 27 feet out. I certainly don't enjoy it, and I don't know about the rest of you, but I don't see the point. It's tough. A uh, little bit, a little bit too hard on that one. All right, we can get out of here with a par. And you're currently sitting right, at one stay under. Stay at one under. Day. We're only 13 shots behind. <laughs> Wind is picking now, obviously, up. you can see the score, right and obviously, it one. is manageable. This course is just. I don't get why. Uh, I don't get why every single week it has to be like this on just border non ridiculous screens. Uh, swinging like silk. It's off the green. And that approach was a bit wayward. Okay, second shot here on the 12th. <laughs> and somehow That's that nice doesn't go in either. Done. And this is your look at par. Second lip out. Okay, we lipped out, of course, okay. nearly for a hole in one, so it lip out that time for the birdie. You'll stay so there is three par fives on the back that die. One. That's something at least, but it's not going to be much good to us now in round one, but maybe, okay. just maybe, we can rescue something out of this. We'd need a ridiculous finish though for it to be a somewhat half-decent round. Good job. Uh, we've got about 150 Jesus. yards to the pin from here. It's not going to stop either, is it? That was just about. Could have kept going a little bit more. It was off the green. This one's on a good line. It's a good birdie there, but nice stroke probably a little bit too late. Birdie of the day. Get back to two under to thirteen holes. Jesus. All right, you're sitting two under to thirteen. And Bob finished 16 under that. Said so that's go here on phenomenal 14th. shooting on the course like this with the greens the way they are. Looks like this tee shot's coming in for safe landing. And this one's around 185 yards to the pin. Should be good if it sits. Oh, it's too long actually. 
too long. Didn't need any D left. I don't know why I put it on it, to be honest. Shot. Just sneaks by. If you drop this, you could save it's gonna car. be another boring par. This one's tracking. Good stroke in the hole for a par. Right. Par 5, 15th. We could do with an eagle okay, birdie, so birdie, eagle finish, but two under I think that round. might be a little bit too much to ask for. I'm actually glad now I don't have enough time to play around too because with the tail I would lose my hole. shit playing this, to be honest. Oh, this one's in the fairway. Hopefully that gets far enough. Jesus. And this is around the 245 yard mark. Can't reach any of it. I have to be, play a big sling and slice. The bunker won't be too bad. Yeah, that's alright. Oh, this is very, very sandy in this. Actually, the lie was pretty good there. Um, yeah. 80 to 88 percent. You don't usually get that in the bunker. If I'd have noticed it a bit quicker, I might have changed my way of playing that shot. Oh, come on, get in. And oh, that's boy. just the story of the round. Right okay, over the up. edge. That'll work. Tapping in for par. <sighs> Another par Sitting five. At two under Without a birdie. Round. Is that at all? That's the three of the par fives now. I think we've par, doesn't it? I didn't see the, late, the scorecard the quick enough there. We'll have a look in a second, but I think it could be. Just a pure swing. Wind is stalling that completely, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, don't know what that was. Just a little off on that approach. <laughs> oh, look at here. Nice chip. Another right. par. <clears throat> yeah, we parred the ninth. Bogeyed the ten. So we're one over for the, the three par fives that we played. It's worse than I thought. Jesus. One over for par fives. Usually my scoring on par fives is pretty good. Usually get a few eagles. Probably a potentially drivable one in. Decent here. Nothing potential about it really. It is drivable, but not but not with that wind. Second shot here on the seventeenth. I don't think I've hit that hard enough, have I? Nope. All right, here's a In fairness, I've been rushing a lot of the shots because, as I said, I don't enjoy this. I mean, it is it is playable. You can see that by the scores. I could definitely shoot decent scores. I just don't get why it has to be played on ridiculous greens like this. It's gonna be, that could go off the other side. Just because I've hit it a touch hard, and I mean a touch hard. Like, look where I finished up another foot and I'm gone down. Ugh, just going <sighs> by the hole. This putt's good so far. And we'll mark down oh, my nerves. We'll one hole to go, thank God. That'll bring your score up <laughs> to one under par. I mean, I'm pretty pretty cool when it comes to playing games. I don't get too annoyed. It's a game at the end of the day, but Jesus, this, this would even with. test my patience. And that was a tee shot. Yeah, I'm not sure where this one's uh, going. Come on. All right, good luck with your second shot here on the 18th hole. This is right on the border. I'm not sure if it's going to be rough or fairway. Okay, here's our third shot. Let me finish with a birdie. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Look at the now putt jab, even from... Seven Six feet time. or whatever it is. Do and finish with, with a birdie. That putt, your round comes to an end. Back to two hundred to seventy. It's a joke, is what it is. Really, two hundred par seventy. Yeah, just that. Uh, regardless of the course and how I feel about it, it's just it's hard to enjoy it when you have to put up with that. As I said, I don't get why they uh, why they made the choice, but they did, and uh, everybody else has to deal with it the same as me. So it's, it is the same for everybody. There's no doubt about it. But as I said, unfortunately, I don't have enough time today to do round two, guys. But uh, 
appreciate your support as always on the videos that wasn't my best stuff there I apologize it's the first time I played the game in a week as I said I wasn't feeling great so I've been just playing games other games I've actually been playing the new Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition trilogy I've been enjoying that so but uh, yeah we'll be back uh, during the week for rounds two and three as I said we might do rounds two and three as one video and round four as a, as a separate one regardless of whether we make the cup or not gonna make the cup but I will play all four rounds in the channel to make up for the lack of videos last week but uh, yeah check out Call of Duty Vanguard that series as I said I will be continuing to play through that two parts up already check them out we have FIFA 22 career mode as well so yeah plenty of stuff for you guys to check out but appreciate the support make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already that would be appreciated and uh, yeah I'll be back in the very near future but until then take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon peace out